Now to the fight to make things right for descendants and survivors of the infamous Tulsa race massacre that happened a century ago. A hearing today could be critical in their fight for justice. ABC's Steve Osinsami has the story. Tell me about- She's the oldest living survivor of the Tulsa race massacre of 1921. My name is Viola Ford Fletcher, 107 years old. And this morning, she's hoping that a judge in Oklahoma will allow a lawsuit she's a part of to move forward. Is it safe to say you are pushing, you and the other survivors, mm -hmm. are pushing for payments? Yes, whatever it takes to replace our loss, yes. In your lifetime? Yes, sir. Well, I'm living. In many households across this country, they put respect on her name and call her Mother Fletcher because of what she's overcome. She and two other survivors still living are suing the city of Tulsa, their sheriff, and other authorities for damages that are more than 100 years old. When she was just a child, she and her family ran for their lives after a mob of their white neighbors destroyed the Greenwood District known to many as Black Wall Street, one of the most prosperous black communities in America. That night, when we were aroused by the parents, what was going on, all the shooting and killing and fires and airplanes, people screaming, people lying on the streets bleeding. In the lawsuit, her attorney argues that the destruction of black homes and public executions of black people were allowed by authorities and that those authorities can now be sued under a state public nuisance law. They're suing for a victim's compensation fund that could potentially mean hundreds of millions of dollars. I'm not the judge, but I do believe that the law and the facts are on our side. A similar effort to go after drug makers for the state's opioid crisis recently failed. And Tulsa's mayor, who led the effort to help find missing black victims from the massacre, is against having today's taxpayers pay for yesterday's crimes and wants the judge to dismiss the lawsuit. And I'm also opposed to levying attacks on this generation of Tulsans who are at no fault. Mother Fletcher says she's running out of time to see justice for her family. She turns 108 years old on May 10th. Steve Osinsami, ABC News, Atlanta.